Just as I suspected. The season's changing over here in Queens. You know what doesn't change though? My very rigid cleaning habits. Let's get down and dirty with it. <sighs> <laughs> We're the housing boys. We got lots of knowledge. We're, We're gonna, gonna take you through the ghetto and give you tips to live nice. We like living in res. We know the ropes off campus and we got some content to share. You know, after a long day at Victoria Park of just squirrel watching, you know, staring at chipmunks, any little critters I can find, it's real nice to get back here at the house. And it looks like we have a few cleaning chores to do inside. Let's get on it, me and you. Oh, John. Oh, Rob, I did not expect you home so soon. Anyways, I was thinking that we should clean this living room up a bit. You know, all these cups over here, this is just ridiculous. You know the importance of having a clean house, not only for yourself, but also for your guests. Johnny boy, you don't have to tell me twice. A dirty living room helps build a bunch of bacteria that's very unhealthy for you and your housemates to just be sulking in. As well, a clean living room makes for a great first impression for visitors. Hey, speaking of visitors, why don't you show them how to properly clean a living room table in one little snap? Sure, no problem. Just watch my demonstration over here. Here, just watch my demonstration. <laughs> See, cleaning your house is very quick and makes one hell of a difference. Now let's get the cat out of the bag. <laughs> Nobody really likes cleaning, but hey, it's a very necessary part of housing life, a very crucial part of housing life, that is. So here's a very useful tip. Divide different cleaning chores around your house with your roommates. Number one, this all starts with the figuring out of the different chores that need to be done. That's what? Sweeping the tabletops, vacuuming the floors, scrubbing the toilet down, washing the dishes. Another chore that you and your roommates can consider rotating through is someone to throw out all the old rotten food that goes bad in the fridge. Hey, now step two to this whole plan is dividing the different tasks and chores amongst you and your housemates evenly. Make sure not, someone's not doing more than another person because that can cause some unwanted tension in the house. And third, open communication. Very key to making this whole operation run smoothly. Oh, that reminds me. John, the dishes are due for you. It's Monday. Ah, oh, dishes, dishes, dishes. Not doing these dishes can make your kitchen a very dirty and smelly place. Speaking of which, I didn't shower earlier, so I should probably get on that, because I'm a very dirty boy right now. Yep, thank you, John. Praise is very important. Look, dishes, dishes, dishes. They don't seem very fun, and they seem very small and unimportant, but over time they can pile up and become a bigger and bigger chore than they have to be. I mean, not doing dishes starts to affect little things in your life and pour into other aspects of your life, like your study habits and other organizational routines if left unkempt. Not to mention the smell that builds up. You and your guests don't want to endure that. Also, another tip related to cleaning, it's very important to clean your clothes. You gotta do laundry at least once a week. You don't want to be going around smelly clothing. Your mom and dad aren't here to help you do your laundry every couple days. As well, you want to be able to clean your sheets. Bacteria builds up all the time on these sheets you want to make sure to clean your sheets at least once or twice every couple weeks. Another final tip. Look, you need to understand that every single house is unique and you may find your own unique problems or cleaning messes that you and your housemates do need to take care of. For example, living here in Alfred, we have this upstairs bathroom and no windows to air things out. Although we try our best and tell each other through communication to turn on the AC, oftentimes a lot of mold builds up. A little bit of a problem and we do not want to be breathing these things in. Something like mold cleaner. 
I mean, just going to Canadian Tire to buy these little remedies to help fix these problems, very important. Yeah, she'll be out there in no time. Well, thank you, Mr. or Mrs. Viewer, for venturing inside me and John's house and letting us teach you a few tips about cleaning your house and maintaining some sense of cleanliness, which is very important. Catch us back next week when we have a heap load more of tips for you. This is big. This is big. shower today? Really? No, no, John, look at me in my eyes. Did you not shower again today? Okay, no, Rob, it's a non-issue. What's up with this non-issue shit? <laughs> okay.